I'm Kimberly Waltman, Executive Director of Special Programs and Services in Leander ISD. We appreciate all of our subs in Leander. We look forward to having you in our classrooms serving our students. Let's hear from our staff to learn how you can support. Thank you for your dedication to LISD. Thank you for subbing in Leander ISD. I'm a special education coordinator for the district and we know that you may have some questions about some of our classrooms and what you might encounter. Let's listen to some of our instructional assistants as they give some words of wisdom and some advice. To come in ready to serve and help the children, do not react to the children, respond and notice that they're not giving you a hard time, they're having a hard time. You are not expected to be perfect. Bring an attitude of kindness and authenticity. Not be afraid to sub and sped and just give it a try because I did not have any experience going into it and I truly do love it. The kids feed off your energy more than anything. So if you come in with a positive attitude, you come in with um, just a happy, caring vibe, the kids are gonna do better for you. To be flexible, be patient, and to have fun with the kids. If you love kids, then you'll love subbing in special education. Let's hear a little bit about what some of your job responsibilities might be, as well as what our various settings might look like. Currently, I am working at Rouse High School in the ICAP program, and we have a really fun family environment in there where we do all kinds of skills from vocational to their core classes. We do a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one teaching, which that's what the teachers would do, but as we do that, we would let you work with another student. In SLE, you might be asked to help support a student one-on-one -on -one throughout the day. You'll have a schedule lining out their schedule of the day, and following that schedule will help productivity with them and the student. Our expectation of when we have a sub in the classroom is to be engaged with the children, just that they're flexible and that if a student needs them they're willing to drop you know whatever they're doing uh, and hop up and go see what that is. A normal day in my classroom looks like us helping kids come in in the day and providing them assistance wherever needed. We have a wide variety of needs but usually with our subs coming in who are very helpful is just interacting with an open mind with our kids. Despite being prepared you may find yourself in a situation where you're unsure of what to do or uncomfortable. Let's listen to what some of our instructional assistants suggest. So if a sub comes in and they're feeling uncomfortable, they can uh, tell us right away and we will try and step in and help them or we will go directly to our teacher and take care of the situation. And the one thing I wish I would have done that I encourage all subs to do is really communicate your concerns. If there's something that bothers you or something that you're worried about, just come and talk about it. Because the, the first thing we do is ask, is there anything that you don't feel comfortable with? In Leander ISD, we really value our subs. It's important for you to understand the impact if one of our jobs goes unfilled. If I do not have a sub who's able to step in for me when I'm not able to be there, it's really difficult for those sped kids and when they don't have that person there to advocate for them, it keeps them from reaching the success that they should be able to. Children love to have the routines. We have a routine with them each day and when we have one teacher out, it kind of throws that schedule off and it throws the kids off and it causes, you know, a little where we're scrambling trying to get things done. The impact subs have are so important to keeping a structure throughout a day. If a teacher is out or an IA is out, it can really hurt a kid's schedule. Seeing the growth in them from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I really enjoyed having the one-on-one -on -one interactions with the children, but you can really make a connection with these guys. It's a smaller demographic, so we get to know them a lot better, and we really get to see what makes them tick and help them be able to navigate a little better. They have a way of just reaching in and grabbing you and just loving you for who you are. So if you come in and give them love and respect, they're going to turn around and give it right back. I enjoy getting to know all the kids, building those relationships, and watching them grow from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and watching them really come out of their shell. 
seeing their growth over time and building those relationships. It makes it 100% worth every second you spend with these kids. All right, so if you're wanting to sub and you're interested in subbing, but you're feeling like you're not qualified, please know that you are. If you desire to help and serve the children and come in, this role is for you. Coming in the district, you'll be assisting with children who may just need help with one-on-one -on -one work, uh, need reward time, say, will come sit with you, and then you'll be able to build relationships through them with playing different games and uh, stress games that are available for them. And you'll be coming in as another advocate or resource for the children to use when they come in. So you are definitely needed. You are definitely qualified.